Today we're going to talk about two nuances of the box and whisker chart. I've already got my data loaded for the various colleges tuitions. So we're going to go to simply pull over the tuition, drop that down here. That's the tuition for all the schools combined, so we want to separate it by school. So dropping that to the detail, bunch of numbers under the show me. Now you can go to the box and whisker chart. Okay, now we're getting started. Hide that. Now you have two options of where those whiskers can be. It can either go to 1.5 times the IQR or the maximum extent of the data. The IQR stands for the inner quartile range and is one point the inner quartile range is the difference between the upper hinge which is the 75th percentile and the lower hinge which is the 25th percentile so in this example if we take the upper hinge and subtract the lower hinge 856 minus 483 we get 373 now take that times 1.5 we get about 560 the 560 plus the 856 which gets you to 416 now what Tableau is going to do is they're going to draw that whisker at the close the data point closest to that that 416 which in this case happens to be 1395 they're going to do the same thing on the lower end you're going to take the lower hinge my, the 483 minus 560 that gets you to below zero and because this is tuition we're not going to have anything below zero there's no data points so the lowest data point that there is is at 165 so when we toggle to uh, show the maximum you're not going to see any change on the lower end but you will see a change in the upper end there you go the IQR defined now another the second thing I wanted to talk about this was something that brought up or pointed out by Jeff Schaefer on the dataplus.com website. You've got all the data points lined on top of each other, which is not quite what we would like to see, or can be a little bit confusing. You create a new calculated field, just basically this index. You're going to pull the index over now to the columns you want the index calculated by each school so each school is going to get a number based on the order in the data set this separates the data points makes them a little more visible and gives you a little more insight into your data